More on that story throughout the day here on ENCA. Let's move on here. Community members in Umzim Kulu, Gwazul Nadal are continuing their service delivery protests. Police say several arrests have been made there following days of demonstrations. For more on this, let's speak to ENCA reporter Dasan Tatia, who is in Umzim Kulu for us. So, Dasan, this began as a demonstration or protests over a lack of water and other services. Now we're seeing a community that's gone face to face with taxi drivers who are accused of killing some of the demonstrators. Exactly. It's all really spiraled out of control, Tim Bekele. And just to explain why I'm sitting in a car at this point, it's because I wanted to find the best way to show you exactly what the condition of the roads uh, are like here. You'll remember during the last crossing, one of the community members had also mentioned that roads are quite a, a, a huge problem, especially in the Kwame village. So I decided that let us take you down this road. I have with me one of the community members, Muzi Mbele, and he's been kind enough to take some time to show us how the, the, the problems that they are facing in this community. So the two major issues behind this protest remain water and the provision of water, and the other issue relates to the condition of these access roads. Now these are the roads that the community have to use to get out of here to the main road to catch a taxi. Some of those who have cars in the area have to try to drive along these very narrow and rocky roads. Roads. So, Muzi, once again, thanks for, for joining me. You've lived here since 1992, if, if I yes. recall correctly. In that time, what kind of improvements have you seen uh, in terms of the service delivery? Uh, I've been given empty promises. That's all I can tell you. You can see you can, can't even drive further from here. You see? Yeah, that's, that's true. Is this the end of this road? This is the end of the road. Okay, let's take a look outside. So you say that they haven't, there hasn't really been much improvement? No, what they did, they just only gave us uh, water tanks. That's what they did. So doesn't that help the, the, the situation around water, though? <sighs> There's nothing that can help. Those water tanks are just stuck in the, in, in the school there. They are stuck there. Let me show you around. Okay, let me show you. To begin, Muzi is just going to show us what the situation is outside. So this is where this road ends. And this is the case for many of these access roads that you find uh, inside the Kwame village. So you'll find that you could get to this point. But if you live beyond here, you'll have to continue the journey on foot. Yes, exactly. We have to walk here. So you can't even drive around here. You have to walk here. This protest that we've been seeing over the past week has turned violent, but I guess it also speaks to the anger that this community has had. I mean, exactly. when we were speaking earlier, um, I got the sense that there has been repeated efforts to try to get the municipality to come out here and address these concerns. Yeah, we've tried, we've tried, <clears throat> we've tried, we've tried. They never did anything. You can even see now, the, the road ends here. The water tanks they gave us, we are not using them. They are stuck in the school there. Hmm. So what I can tell you, the municipality failed. They but failed us. After five days of protests, you still haven't had any kind of word from the municipality, even ourselves. In fact, I must mention at this point, we've been trying to secure an interview with your municipal manager, Swelipansi uh, Skosana, and that hasn't come through just yet. What's going to happen next? What I'm going to tell you, it's back to the streets. There's nothing else. I can see they, that's the only language they understand. You have to boycott. So there's nothing else you can do. Back to the streets. Has there been any campaigning by political parties in this area over the past few weeks? When I remember correctly, I think so. I think so. I think so. So, so are these concerns being put to those political parties that are yeah, we told them everything that we need. They told us what they are going to provide. So there's nothing we can do about it. What we're looking for is just a municipality to come and help us here. Nothing else. One of the other community members that I spoke to said that if nothing happens between now and the election day, um, there won't be any voting taking place. Do you personally also feel that way? Uh, what I believe in is that uh, by putting your vote, uh, it's, it's how you show your, your reaction. If ever they think that it's gonna, the, 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 the IEC is going gonna, 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 
to maybe. What is going to happen here? What I know, there won't be no voting. Okay, thank you very much for that, Muzi. Uh, Tembekile, that's one of the community members here, just showing me around the area today, showing me the reasons behind this protest that has taken place over the past week and which they say will still continue until they get some kind of word from the provincial government. And what he's saying there at the end is that if this issue around running water as well as uh, improvement of roads isn't sorted out, they will ensure that community members here don't vote in this upcoming election. ENCA reporter Dasan Tati Alifras in Umzimkulu this